Luke Hines is getting his musical on when he went backstage with the stars of the hit show and Juliet. Packed full of mind-blowing vocals and relentlessly athletic dance moves, And Juliet is one of the most high-octane musicals to hit Australian theatres. Just make sure you're keeping nicely up to his. But the energy on stage is nothing compared to the effort performers like Georgia Kennedy put in behind the scenes. Lots of cardio. <laughs> yeah, a lot of cardio. That's it. Due to about 20 on each side for me. It is a lot of hard work. But to be honest, there's so much cardio in the show. It's eight times a week that I don't like to do too much of that outside. I really make sure to do sort of restorative exercises and stretching to, to feel my, my body again. It's really working up through your toes for me, OK? Like any team of professional athletes, Georgia and her and Juliet co-stars are supported by a group of specialised physiotherapists, led by performance medicine's Annie Strouch. That looks better. And you might end up feeling it through this part. Because the show is eight shows a week, it's very repetitive, so people get a cumulative load in their body. So our role is to decrease that accumulation and really finesse what they're doing. So we will look at, if someone's always doing something on their right side, we're going to activate the left side more. We're going to make sure their legs are working, but we need to be able to do it in a way they're not going to be too sore so that they can go to work in two hours and no one's going to know that they've just done a conditioning class. And legs out like that, that's it. Good. So with your role, are you watching rehearsals and you're saying, hang on, they're hoisted up, they're clipped onto a strap, they're in a corset, and they also have to belt as a tenor. How do you work around that when there's so many variables? You have to be very creative in your thinking and open-minded. And you've got to work out a solution that suits everyone. First and foremost, the performer safety. And we do work with other departments, so the wardrobe department, and navigate a way to find what we need that looks creatively what the show needs, but also is more comfortable for the performer. Talking about protecting performers, mid-show, sometimes things just happen. Rolled ankles. Yes. Hammies. Yes. What do you do? Often it's a phone call to me. Annie, something's happened. And that's OK. That's why I love the job. Interestingly, in music theatre, it's a bit like footy and you can sub people off. So it's called a swing. So the companies are really amazing. They have dance captains. So if someone's injured and they what can't perform, they're able to swing them off and then swing someone else on. And the audience are none the wiser. I got the eye on the of course, a healthy body is one requirement for starring in a musical. To about 20 for me. OK. To belt out hit pop songs every night, Rob Mills has to take care of his voice just as much. It's really important to... Uh, like, it's like a, getting a tight hamstring. All these muscles here that we use quite a lot with our jaw and our neck, um, to keep stretching them out as, as you would a hamstring if you're an elite runner or... Yeah, yeah so stretching, uh, plenty of fluids and, I don't know, try not to get too stressed. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you're staying in a, a mindset that's, you know, you're always going to have ups and downs, but if you have a positive mindset, I think that definitely helps as well. I'm glad you touched on mindset because unlike some other industries, when you sign up to a show, mm -hmm. you're committing months, if not years, away from your family state, away from your friendship group, yeah. and you are giving up most of your afternoons and nights, and they're such late evenings that most of your mornings are gone too with yeah. rehearsals or physio or whatnot. How do you stay mentally strong when you're in this microcosm of a world? Mate, well, you put it like that, you know what, I, I quit. This is... <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this what I was like? No, no, yeah, sorry, everybody. I mean, I've been doing this for nearly 15, 20 years in, in musicals now, and there's something about... I mean, I, I, I love telling stories and I love being part of the team of, of, of a musical, but you're right, you, you do sort of lose touch sometimes with those friendship groups when you, you do live overseas. Sometimes you're living out of a suitcase for many months of the year. It can, it can be difficult, but look, we're so well connected with technology these days. There are ways to connect with your friends via WhatsApp groups or FaceTimes with your partner or, or friends. Uh, there are ways, but you have to make the time. Yeah, want to have a little breather, shake it out? Yeah. Always. The old Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. I've definitely grown, learnt that self-confidence is a great thing to have, but self-worth is more important to have than self-confidence. Your self-confidence will come with self-worth. So learning a bit more about who you are as a person, um, getting that 
uh, self-awareness and mental toughness, resilience, all that sort of stuff. It takes a lot to sort of have that energy and, and put that energy output. But it is a lot of fun and it, and it means a lot to us that audiences love what we do, they feed off our energy and um, that's why we do it. it makes you realise how stage fit these performers have to be to manage such high energy shows, sometimes for months and months. But this is a fantastic show. It is a what-if version of Romeo and Juliet where Juliet doesn't die and it has a huge amount of awesome pop hits. Spoiler alert there, Joe. Well, the, uh... everybody knows that's what the premise is <laughs> about Juliet. I oh, hear great things about it. It's a smash hit on the West End and Broadway. And the Melbourne production is on right through until the end of July. So check it out if you haven't yet. Back after this.